record straight. You and me, we ain't nothing alike. Let's set the record straight. Those words you say, they hold no way they like. Let's set the record straight. You'll never break the man before. Hello everyone, welcome back to another die cast review. Today is a very special die cast review because of a few things. First things first, this is the 400th episode of a die cast review. Which is, uh, to say the least, pretty wild. And it is a early release for the 2022 season. So there's another reason why this is kind of a good die cast review. And not only that, this will be turned into a custom of the Martinsville raced version. Uh, from, of course, the Xfinity race. So I cannot wait to get that one done either. So a pretty good die cast review today. And it's still Junior just to kind of throw it all uh, all together. Got a Junior die cast again. Early release. I think this is the technically the third die cast that was an early release for the Xfinity series. Because we had two Josh Berries. Which I did not find, actually. Uh, at the track, there was a, a couple that I couldn't find. I couldn't find any of the Josh Berries. I couldn't find uh, the fan vote for Bowman. And I think there was one more uh, die cast I couldn't find, but again, we got a brand new release, or early release actually, for a brand new year with a brand new box, I don't mind this little part here, uh, this was actually from, I don't know, it was from me, I did something or some something happened, but I did not get it like this, so we're going to do a box comparison real quick, because we have brand new boxes for 2022. So here's the 2022 box, this is for the Xfinity series, of course. And then here is the 2020 box, or 2021 box, I'm sorry, uh, for the Cup Series. I don't know if they're the same, like, designed, if they have the same colors. I don't think I picked up even a single, or no, I did pick up a Gragson, but that was forever ago. So I don't really remember if the box was the same or not. But either way, I want to say, or I'm, I'm hoping, that the X-Mini Series and the Cup Series boxes are different. And I say that because if you look on the box... It says 2022 season at NASCAR Xfinity Series. So I'm hoping they kind of switch it up for, you know, just kind of the boxes and whatnot. But yeah, brand new release for Dale Jr. And again, early release. It's not really released just yet. If you do not know how to get a, a uh, early release, you can get them from people on Instagram or you can get them from the track. You can probably get them on eBay too. But like the main thing, like how to get them, like bottom line, is going to the track yourself. I actually picked up a really good amount of early releases. I think got like four or five, which is a pretty good chunk. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and get into this die cast review and uh, see what we have because I already see a quality control. There's a big uh, spot on the second L for Hellman's. And uh, that means this one's going to be turned to the race version and not the other one because I did get two. I got two of them, one to keep in the box and one to customize for the race version. So <laughs> I think this one's going to be uh, the donor for that race. Here's the die cast out of the box, and actually, like, the first time I saw this die cast, or not die cast, but first time I saw the car, and it was going to be ran at Martinsville, surprisingly, I wasn't a fan. I'm like, eh, it's kind of a bunch of weird colors. This is a fan vote, by the way. I think there was, like, three or four you could pick from. I think it was three, and uh, I picked a different one. I didn't vote for it, but I just, I picked a different one, and it didn't win. I thought it was going to win no matter what, but surprisingly, this was, like, not the one that I wanted. Because, again, I saw a lot of people like in the comments voting for that particular scheme. I'm like, oh, dude, that one's going to win easily. And it didn't for whatever reason. Either way, it's not a bad painting scheme. I got a lot of footage and pictures and whatnot from uh, the Martinsville race. Uh, I actually have a... I put a vlog out for that. So I'm going to put that in the link in the description if you want to go uh, check that out. Junior actually did wreck... Not twice. He got... He, I think he got spun... And then he got caught up in that big wreck with Gregson. And I think, I mean, he still finished like, what, 11th? So not a bad finish at all. Uh, but I mean, with that huge, like, pile up, I'm pretty sure uh, that's kind of what did it in for him. Now, uh, just keep in mind, he did start last, dead last in this race. So even though throughout the race may not have been great for Junior, the finishing result wasn't really that bad. So let's go ahead and take a look at this die cast here. Again, very nice paint scheme. I was not really a fan at the beginning, uh, but I'm like, you know what? It, it grew on me. I, I've been getting that a lot. I've been having a lot of uh, paint schemes that have just been growing on me a lot for no reason. But again, this is one of those paint schemes. So right here on uh, the hood, we got Hellman's right there. Established 1913. Got the little bow tie there. I don't like how low the Hellman's logo is, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. And the side kind of reminds me of the 2010 paint scheme he ran for his dad uh, at the Daytona race. 
in the Nationwide series, or Xfinity as it is now. So that's kind of cool to see. We got a brand new banner. We got the purple banner instead of black for Dale Jr. And I think it was just for everybody, really. Uh, I think it was like, I don't know why they didn't do like red for Dasher Cash. Because like, there was the Dasher Cash race and it's like, okay. So the purple banners are for all the cars. Well, at least most of them anyway. But the only difference is there's a, a purple splitter, a purple spoiler, and the banner. So like... It'd be a lot easier to tell if, like, or well, it had Dash for Cash, like, on uh, this here. So, I don't know. It was kind of weird. I wish they kind of changed it, but, uh, oh, well. Got the 88 right there, and it's kind of a weird font, too, because we got the uh, little stripes kind of coming off the bottom. Got a little bow tie there as well. Dale Jr. Hellman's established 1913. Got the little bow tie once again there. Same here uh, here on the back. Got the bow tie Hellman's. I got some contingencies. Got a blue spoiler. I wish it was, like, a... Uh, yeah, maybe like a yellow, maybe like a white, possibly. I feel like a yellow would be better, though. Got Hellman's back there. Of course, you got the fake exhaust pipes, which I don't think anybody likes. I uh, got Hellman's right there. Uh, Fridge Hunters. Got Degree uh, Unilever. Got the 88 right there. And it was cool to see him drive the 88 again. I was really happy that it was the 88. That was, like, super cool. And I believe I have collected all of his Xfinity starts, his one-off Xfinity schemes, since 2018. So, uh... Hoping to continue that tradition. I got the NASCAR race car there. NASCAR Xfinity Series, Mobile One, ARP. Of course, you got that weird design, kind of like with the stripes. Once again, you saw on the numbers up here. Uh, it kind of goes to the side as well. Now, something else, you can kind of see them over here too, but the 88, the bow tie is there. And underneath that, it's got a like a little striping thing. Now, the 88s on the side were weird, because you can see a very little bit of like a whitish type, somewhat of an outline, I guess, to kind of make up for like keep not keeping it bold it's weird how they did that I don't, I don't really know how i feel but i mean it's not terrible got the goodyear right there which is in blue maybe purple kind of hard to tell got simpson sunoco of course you got the 88 right there and the camaro with the yellow spoiler or uh, splitter i'm sorry then over here let's take a look at the damage which is uh not race damage this is just lionel damage i got a little bit of a paint chip there never been taken out of the box so that's how i know it's from lionel Oh, we got a terrible uh, warped for the Goodyear logo there. Looks like we got a little bit of a patch uh, for some paint. That right NASCAR race car logo is off pretty well. And then over here, of course, we got the big old splotch uh, for the helmet. So I'm glad I got two of these bad boys. And again, I'm glad I'm making the race version because if not, this would not be a very cool, uh, good car to use. Just in the collection now, this will not be for sale as of right now. And I say as of right now because I might wait for like the Authentics to come out and then do the Martinsville Race version for that. But as of right now, I'm not going to get another Gold Series. I'm just going to uh, roll with this one, keep this one in my collection. I get the 124 and also make that into the race version as well. And uh, that should be a pretty cool little 124, 164 set to have on the shelf. But I mean, once again, it was really awesome to see Junior race, even though he kind of spun out a little bit which is no big deal i wish he finished 10th i wish he finished first really but i wish he finished a uh, 10th just for to have that top 10 because he was one spot away just one he would have been uh you know in the top 10 now he actually got up front i think it was like fourth or sixth i think it was sixth like early on in the race and he got stuck on that outside groove and it just it took him away i mean he, there was nothing he could do it was hard for him to get down into the bottom until he got a little put uh put back and after he got put back, it was really hard to come back from, you know, losing all those spots. And it was kind of like mid-race, so it was really hard to kind of get back up there for Junior. But either way, he was up front for a little bit, so that was kind of kind of cool to watch. I was hoping he would lead just even just one lap. Just saw him lead one lap. Not only I could see it, but I wanted to hear the fans' reaction. Because I know for a fact the fans would have been so much louder than the cars themselves. But I mean, oh well, I'm happy for Junior's performance, and not only that, he said he might uh, go next year for Martinsville, and we might have to go back and see him again. So either way, uh, yeah, pretty cool little race car here. Again, we're going to do uh, to do the Martinsville race version in both scales, and we're going to have a pretty good time with that. So once again, uh, that is going to be all for the Stylecast review. Well, not once again, but uh, yeah, the 400th episode. I'm going to kick it off uh, pretty good for today. But once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.